All right, let's go talk to her. <laughs> Very good, if I do say so myself, first mate. Me as the cabin, as the cabin boy, I feel very honored to say you did a fantastic job. <laughs> Don't worry, Captain. Do not sully your garments by getting in the water. Cabin boy and first mate will handle this. Um. Go on, I'm just getting the ship set up again. No, don't sully. As I said, I do not want to have to iron it later. <laughs> I spent a long time polishing those shoes for you to jump in the water. And I'm in the water. <gasps> no! Well, perhaps it's fortunate. <laughs> I gotta polish it. My over associates again. and I are in a particularly dangerous place. All right, she's talking to me. Oh, the skeletons. Come on. I'll handle this while you handle her. Ooh. A siren's prize. I wonder if they can read. Cool, cool, cool. All right, continue adventure. Excellent. Is that... Oh. The value of the treasures I see cannot be underestimated. <laughs> First mate's doing legit business. Captain's in the corner chasing striped pig. <laughs> Come here, <laughs> Come here, you little piece of bacon. <laughs> That sounds like standard Captain Josh to me. Oh, sounds like standard <laughs> Josh, yes. I defeated a ghost. You yeah, happy? I'm never happy. And the pig <laughs> is still alive! Don't worry, I've got it, Captain. Don't worry. I won't let you sully your blade. I've got it, Captain. When you I have brought you the meat, Captain. <laughs> First mate, do you want to join this pork with me? Wait, let me, let me roast it on the fire. <coughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Come on, never. How do you drop it? Can you drop it? Roast. <gasps> My pork! No! <laughs> Would you like your pork back? <laughs> no, you keep it. I don't want it. Don't care. I don't care about it. No, you keep it. No, it's your pork now. <laughs> I'm going to go kick it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Start turning to Smeagol. He's ruins it! <laughs> <laughs> What's taters precious? Boil him, stick him. Boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew. Did you guys hear that there's going to be a new... They're, they're talking about it and they're teasing it at Warner Brothers, but they're a new Lord of the Rings game, and it's called Lord of the Rings uh, Gollum. It's supposed to be like kind of like a survival horror, because you play as Gollum. <laughs> no, I'm even kidding. Bizarre. It is sound bizarre. I mean, because like <clears throat> survival horror, because, you know, he's constantly in, just in a fucking cave, and it's kind of just, you can't fight, so you're just running and hiding from orcs all the time. So, but it's called Lord of the Rings Gollum. That would be fun. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd still play it. I'm a Lord of the Rings fanatic. Play the hell out yeah, of I really liked the Shadow of Mordor games. Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War. Yeah. I mean, it's... <gasps> Carol's job broke up with him. But... Oh, yeah, I did like Shadow of War. I just kind of laughed. I really liked it because I liked Assassin's Creed because it was literally just like a clone of Assassin's Like, it just might as well have been Assassin's Creed. Yeah, same sort of combat. Same yeah. combat as, um, like... Batman, the Arkham games as well. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, it was almost exactly the same. Like, it's all stealth-based. And then, like, you unlock a map by going to a tower <laughs> and then jumping off yeah. of it. The exact, like, it was almost the exact. Like, they took Assassin's Creed and were like, we're just going to kind of change it. A lot of this, sort of, like, uh, the, the, the Sony, the PlayStation exclusive games had that sort of, um, I don't know, like, that, that sort of style. Stuff like Horizon did it as well. Like the Spider-Man games, the Batman games. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They all just kind of have the same similar combat. All right, look out for the shiny bit. Yeah. 
But I can say that Assassin's Creed, I mean, not Assassin's Creed, but uh, Lord of Rings Shadow War brought something to the table that was like, I mean, Shadow War, obviously we see that everywhere, but the Nemesis engine. Yeah, yeah that system what? was pretty, pretty that was, excellent. Yes, they brought that to the table for sure. And like, I love There was a couple of times where I did find myself like with actual Nemesis. Like, there was ones that I recognized and I was like, not this fucker again. <laughs> I'm, I legit hate you. Like, in real life, hate you. Yeah, like, I genuinely <laughs> hated these people. They were awful. Is it up there on the starboard? It was so satisfying when she dominated them. Yes. Yeah, it should just be to the right of us. Are we just going a little bit slow because we've only got one sail down? Uh, do you at least have some moments where you legit ask him, like, how the fuck are you still, like, you cut their head off, you've dominated them, you drove them insane, you've completely blown them up, and they still come back for, like, the eighth time? And you're like, how are you even, how do you exist? Like, I just didn't even make any sense. Like, I've lit them yeah, on fire right and all that kind of stuff. It just cracks me up. But... So they actually did. Yeah, Shadow of War really expanded on it because the way that they come back, they come back like with stitches and all oh, put yes. back together, and well, yeah, and they'd be higher in level, or you could, or you could like um, lower their level. You could humiliate them. Yes. And then they come back just a gibbering mess. Which I did actually. The the lowering level thing was so handy that um, you get to like there was a point there was a thing like you could glitch the system where i had a thing like i think attached where like it automatically increased their level by like six or something like i don't know it was like yes. by a fuck ton yeah there's like perks uh, but, you can get to increase the level of people that you dominate yes and then like Maybe but if, if you but there was like a couple times if you randomly ran up went up to them um like you could they were too high level for you to do that to so you would humiliate them lower their level and then by the time you dominated them it increased their level better than when you were trying to bring yeah it was just like insane like the way that stuff would stack now you could do it i remember like oh gosh i can't remember what it was i had a glitch system of like initiating a duel in like a certain area and it would automatically spawn like the max level person and you couldn't you couldn't recruit a max level person um but, like, I just glitched the system constantly spawning it by initiating duels left and right. And then humiliating them, lowering their level by, like, five. And then recruiting them, and it immediately brought them back up to max level, which I wasn't allowed to have someone at max level. But it didn't matter because it glitched the system. So it was, like, an entire army of just max level people. Yeah, so it was so much fun. But, you, so you are blissfully unemployed. Well, I'm glad it finally... Finally ended, Carol. So they did finally fire you, so you do finally get to get employment. And Cap, you gotta speak more, because she says since she got fired, she needs to hear your voice to cheer her up. I love a good unemployment. <laughs> Cap, did you go overboard? I did, yeah. I'm done at the, um, the train. Alright, I'm heading down. I shall guard the ship as my job is first mate. I mean, you could come down to the train as well, mate. <laughs> no, 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 no. I shall stay on the train. It's my job. My self-designated job. Speaking of, do I get paid for my self-designated job? Yes. Okay, great, great, great. You on get top... paid in bananas and mangoes. <gasps> I love it. I, will sh I shall not suffer from scurvy. <laughs> scurvy. That's enough of that voice. I hated it almost immediately. Never mind. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. I'm done with that. No more. Yep, I hated you immediately as well. You got kicked out of the group chats? So you're assuming you're fired? Oh, I hate group chats at work. I leave every one of them that I'm invited to. Me too. Actually, I do. Well, I don't leave ones I, I leave ones that like are invited by like employees but if my boss invited me into one i just stay as long as i need it <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's one that i'm in that's supposed to be for like just like the team stuff like if you're having trouble like queries and all that sort of things and my team will occasionally they'll start like chatting in it or memeing or something like that i'm just like this is fucking cringe <laughs> so, so i'll mute it yes 
It's just constantly muted for me. <laughs> we we actually have one of those, and it kind of aggravated. I mean, look, I love everybody's baby announcements. I do, but we have an entire group chat that's dedicated to. I mean, we all use the same system and stuff like that, and we all do the same thing. So if someone has a mechanic like a computer issue, knowing our systems how they're connected, everyone else will eventually get the same issue. So we usually bring it to your attention, like heads up, this is happening. Well someone had a baby recently and it was like 30 something messages about this baby. And I'm like, this isn't even what this chat's for. Like, <laughs> I'm not, like what, what are we doing here? Like, Oh, like I get it. I know I have a baby myself. I love it. My boss was even great and posted like about the baby being born. And even like my boss's boss messaged me was like, do you have the, you know, it was really sweet messaging. It's great private messages why is it like a public i mean like we have forums and stuff dedicated to this thing we literally do like we have an entire sharepoint thing is dedicated like a whole like news page but why is it like 30 messages in my group chat I just waste the money i located her she okay all right i found the priest guy and the statues. I'm gonna lower anchor. Wait, no shit. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. I'm raising the anchor. I meant to say I was the anchor raising. Should be raised. It was. I accidentally lowered it. <laughs> now I'm re-raising it. Yeah, where are you at down here? I'm setting those statues. Cause I'm at the beginning of where the statues are. Can you remember where the third one was again? Oh. That's what I'm looking around for. I know, Carol. Oh, wait, yeah, actually, I think I remember. I'm sorry, Carol. I know. Just put some critics. Well, she don't get lost there, Josh. <laughs> wait, she posted in the in the public chat how she has a crush on one of the IT workers. That's what Carol says one of her coworkers posted in their public chat about how they had a, a crush on one of their IT workers. What nice. the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, that <laughs> what the fuck? Like I said, I have kids. I, I mean I have a daughter. I love I mean I did a baby announcement, but what I did was I just did a baby announcement email to my boss. And my boss was awesome and they did she did a baby baby announcement like saying like, Hey, Ethan's gone for a couple weeks because he you know, then posted a picture of a our daughter that I sent to her, and that was it. But, like, a Teams chat is something completely fucking different. So, I'm like, this is what, it's just aggravating. It's, just, it's, it's so aggravating. Right, I think I've done it the right way around. Let's see <laughs> if this works. How the fuck do we have so much wood? You're welcome. Oh, damn. <laughs> Holy hell. Thanks Josh for takes credit for wood. Thanks for giving me the wood, Josh. <laughs> I appreciate it. More news at five. <laughs> <laughs> and back at it with the weather, Jan. <laughs> what, uh, what? It worked. What color did you dye I your just, hair? I just did that by memory. Hell yeah. Why is there a bunch of crates near the front? Is those are those fireworks crates? Yes. Oh, okay. Did you take all the well? If you just take all the fireworks out and put them in your cannonballs, so then you can just sell the crates for like a thousand bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you, funny thing is, those are the only crates that you can sell completely empty. So you can use all the stuff inside them, and then you'll sell them as if it had stuff in it. And I don't think it lowers the amount. It's supposed to be red. Hmm. Everybody wants to have red hair. Damn it, I just fell off trying to follow you, Cap. Don't worry, I fell as well. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and unload all these firework crates into our cannonball crates. So if anybody wants, you know, fireworks. All right, so I need to do that thing where we press the buttons. Where are you at? I'm going to wait until this one resets. Oh, you know what you could do while I'm doing these buttons? There's a couple of treasures up here. You could stick them in one of the statues. I could find out how to get back up there. <laughs> ah, he's lost again, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Josh seriously I, I, just turns around and is lost. <laughs> no sense of direction when you're talking like 360 spacing. No object permanence ever. <laughs> just no. Oh. Love it. It's kind of like me. My wife has to tell me where to go. Even if we've been to like a town like 17 times or something, I'm still like, she's like, you know how to get there. Just go to, and I'm like, no, I do not. You're going to have to guide me. <laughs> going to have to explain it to me slowly. All right. I've got um, five things stored in the, in the statue now. Hi, Tekken. I don't know if you've ever been down to the, one of these shrines that are really deep underwater, but they've got a weird system where there's statues all littered about, like these blue statues, and you can store um, treasure in the statues. And then when you get back up to the surface, there's a mermaid that just sort of spawns all the treasure for you. How do you get down? Do you use you just swim down? Yeah, oh get to the shiny part and then just swim straight down. Does it like speed up the shiny part? What do you mean, does it speed up? I mean, like, is it, this is taking a long ass time to get down there. <laughs> I'm swimming down. Holy shit. It takes, it takes a little bit to get down there, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not that long, don't worry. Here, I'm returning into the ship now. Is there, like, bubbles or something? Or will, like, it prevent you from drowning? Yeah, there's, um, there's like, parts where bubbles are coming out of, like, plants and stuff where you can breathe. Oh, uh, okay. Coming down. This is neat. Oh, I'll go to that bubble plant. I see it over there. I assume I'm probably going to die if I don't. Yeah, get a breath before you come in. <laughs> yeah. There's some bubble plants all over the, the, the shrine as well. But I'm currently in a main chamber at the moment. Oh Jesus! Something just, something just hit me. <laughs> Was that you? No. Oh, that we laughed. <laughs> Sounds guilty. Pretty. I, did, I just knew. I just knew I was going to be blamed. <laughs> well, if you're going to be so suspicious, <laughs> <laughs> I'm up collecting treasure from the mermaid. I knew I'd be yeah, blamed for hitting you, so I just went ahead and hit it. <laughs> I've put more treasure in it since you did that. So I'll we'll we'll do a second round of that then. Once I've got everything out of here. Hmm. Oh god. Oh, got got siren people attacking me. Oh god. Oh god. Bad. Bad. Shit. Ah. Shit. You holding up all right there? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Oh, you weren't asking me. <laughs> you Never mind. Ma'am again. My bad. I was talking to Tukin. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've got to get my get my ass handed here. It's a good thing you can still use guns on the water in this. There's a lot of. A lot of loot where I'm at right now. Two types of skulls and Yeah, I mean if you can find um a statue to put it in, that'd be grand. Okay. That way we can just send it all up at the end. Okay. Um I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda try to take care of this siren guy that was aggravating me. 
Jason, you're around now. It looked like we went after you. So where is this statue at? To put it in. You'll see oh, the yeah, lock. I'll, uh, is in the I'll corner. Okay. So follow me, Tukum. All right. Aye, aye, first mate. Aye, aye. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Guy I got a gun. I got gotcha. you. Come here, you little shit. Let me put this chest away. Uh, and it's nice taking everything to the Merchant Alliance, like the the one-stop shop. Killed his ass. Killed him, excellent. All right, you see this blue statue here with the blue glowing eyes? Yeah. If you oh. go up to it and press, you can press Y to store it, and then you press X to send everything up. Oh, okay. And you can only do that like once kind of thing? Or... Uh, no, no, I'll just send it. What will happen is there'll be a mermaid on the surface, and then Josh just needs to go talk to him. And get all the treasure to float up. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, so I will go ahead and get those three pieces of treasure that I saw. Right, so I've got the objective here. I'm going to take it to the priest guy, and then we should be good to go from this one. And that's the first stage of this one. Okay. And that means we've just got two stages left. Perfect. If you go out through that hole and immediately take a left, it'll be back in a little crevice, is where there's like two skulls. So got it. Did your UK friends watch the funeral? <laughs> I heard something about UK friends in the funeral. <laughs> Yeah, well, she asked if we, uh, if you guys watched it, and I was like, Cap said no. <laughs> no, 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 no. She said UK friends. Sorry, Cap, but I heard Josh talking. I don't think he's probably one of his friends. No, that's uh, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> his friends. Say the UK key word, right? it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be his friend as his first mate. He can't keep favorites. Sorry. There we go. Voice of the Ancients handed to the priest. Alright, come back down to where you are, Tukin. Alright, I stored all three of those treasures. Ah, uh, did you get all of them? Yeah, those three that I found. We uh, should be able to use the statue just to teleport back up to the surface in that case. Yeah, so it says return to ship. Do you want to explore a little more? Or do we just want to um, go back? I think we've got pretty much everything that's in here. Okay. We, we sent a load up with Josh already, so there's there should be plenty of treasure in the ship. Okay, I'm gonna kill this siren guy. There's just one thing that I can't hit from the harpoon, it's too far out of range. Kill oh. one of those things. Okay. Yeah, so just go to the statue and hit X for return to ship, and we'll get out of here. Okay, sounds good to me. That's cool, that's cool that that's there. All right. All right. All right, and I'm going to go talk to that mermaid again. Perfect. I'll bring back that thing that took him, that, that um, Josh can't hit. <laughs> the hell was it? It's a full fucking chest, mate. Oh, the Siren's Prize is like... um. That's like the new one, I think, isn't it? That's the new Tall Tale. Just came out. So what are we drinking today, lads? Ah, uh, mate, I am back to work in the morning, so I'm not having any, anything like that. <laughs> oh, it's quitter talk. I'm a boring old Scotsman today. Mm. <laughs> Only a boring old Scotsman. Not heavy drinking. Just, uh... Several pints of whiskey. <laughs> just, just a wee snifter. <laughs> just a, just a, a keg of beer, and, you know, a couple, couple jars of whiskey, and we're good. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Right, where are you storing the treasure? Captain's course. It looks like it. Ah, that's where I put. That's where I put those um. Those crates. So might as well. I'll turn this around, try and get us in range of these. Alright, 
Josh, you should be able to hit them a wee bit more now. We'll go ahead and put these in. Okay, Josh appears to be frozen in place. <laughs> I think it, yeah, I think it may have gone up. Maybe AFK. Josh, get off the damn harpoon if you're going to kill. <laughs> Jesus, Josh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God damn it, Josh! There we, there we go. He's off the harpoon. We're good. We're good. <laughs> and it starts. <laughs> hey, I might see a couple of things. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I eventually want to do that four to sorrows because that guy said you got like three hundred to five hundred thousand of a trip. We didn't remember how to do that. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, we completely forgot. How. <laughs> I was gonna. Um, I was gonna look it up and do like a walkthrough when we if we wanted to do it again or something like that. Because it was right, like left over there. Yet the, I think so. Not uh, one thing. I can't reach to the harp, and I'm gonna just jump. Oh wait. Okay. I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna look up like a walkthrough and just walk alongside with it, something like that. You know. Because it was like, you had to die like six different ways or something like that. Yeah, it's a really yeah. weird way to do a quest. Yeah. Die by lightning and die by people. And then, yeah. All right, where are we off to next? Shrine of Flooded Embrace. Shrine of Lost Ancients. Yeah, so we need Ancient Tears and Ocean's Fortune. All right, let's find out where they are. We got a lot of treasure. Lost Ancients. Sorry, it's not Lost Ancients. Ah, Ancient Tears down there. I gotta save up the Ancient Gold Coins to Flooded Embrace up there, okay. I'll tell you what, Plunder Outpost is on the way to the Shrine of Ancient Tears, so we should stop there. Okay. That sounds good to me. Sell this treasure. Well, oh, this one's going there. I yep. need to turn the boat around. There you go. You got a bird to keep you company. We're going to ancient. Thank you very much. Tears next, correct? Yes. All right. Just let me know when to drop sales. Yeah, drop sales now. All right. You see well? Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. And take this one down all the way, and then still look good. Looking good. All right. Or you want me to raise the front up a little bit? No, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Let's see if we can get, catch the wind. Hey, Toucan. When you're in people's streams, does, does it, like, continuously say welcome to chat like it's kicking you out of the stream? Yeah, it does that to me a lot. Mine has been doing that like crazy, and it has been driving me nuts because it's lagging my stream now. Yeah, I don't know why. It really aggravates me. Do you ever that happen, Cap? Happen, Cap? Uh, I'm not recently, no. Hope you guys um, hear my dog bark. Probably not at all. It was the more accurate answer there. But yeah. <laughs> implied it's happened before. No, uh, my answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Josh asked, me that, Josh asked me that earlier, and suddenly now I'm unsure. <laughs> Has it happened? Hmm. Question my whole life choice for you, one question. <laughs> All right, see if we can get us around to where the Sovereign's living. Ooh, there's a ship there, too. Yeah, we can... Open fire! <laughs> oh, it looks like a player ship. They're sailing away. They shall live another day. Is that just a wee sloop? Yep. Or do you want to go fuck up a sloop? 
Well, last time we fucked up, I still got cracking ass. <laughs> How about we just go right to the outpost that we're already at? Let him be. Yeah, it looks like they just left an outpost. I think I don't think they'll have anything on them. Oh, there's some stuff in the water. I got it. Yep. I'll do. I'll do. All right. Smashy, smashy. Yep. Ooh, some, yep. Decent, some decent stuff here. Yep. Any damage, Josh? <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I was immediately running. This ship is nothing least. but one big replacement board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, I saw the entire hole on one side. It's just boards, 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 boards. <laughs> yeah, it costs a pretty penny to get it reset. I think it's one of those things like the more damage you have, the more expensive it is. Jesus, that ship is. Come on, turn around, man. Turn around. Yeah, I seal up a bit. Like, where else are we leaking from? It's right here. Send me a picture of it, Carol, when you're done. I want to see what it looks like. I thought I was doing really good at my parking recently. <laughs> that was a terrible job. <laughs> I'll ease us in gently from here. No smashy. There we go. What's that? I actually found some Ooh. special cannonballs. There were some in those barrels. Yeah, I found some of them earlier. They must be all over the place today. Hey, taking just coming into the port. <laughs> if you guys um like put it, start putting everything on boat, I will go ahead and use the harpoon. Yeah, I'll start to grab stuff. Yeah, start grabbing stuff. I'll try and just get as we go closer. How do you get up there? Oh, right there. Okay. Right. Excellent. Man, it's lower anchor because you're drifting bad. Did I get you? Yeah. Oh, hey, Josh. Hi, <laughs> Tukin. Nice to see you again. How about we just do this little effort? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Is it the lever? Okay. Is that a good place for them? Is, uh, where I'm putting them? Perfect. Wait, pick them up. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Explodes next to you. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of that way when I pick. I just kind of try to get the chest out of Josh's hands, and it picked up Josh, and Josh just disappeared. <laughs> That's a storage crate. Yeah, I'm gonna take the storage crate around and fill up on stuff in the island. All right, no problem. You see that uh, cap that you can actually you can uh, dock a rowboat in front of the the sovereign. Yeah, it's pretty empty. Yeah, fire me up. All right, I got you. I'll help you. I'll take your stuff off if you just want to concentrate on the shooting. All right, got it. Is everything on here now? 
Yep. Uh, what about I'm the, just uh, the crate of fireworks? Grabbing stuff from the island. There's the crate of fireworks down there, too. How do you want the crate of fireworks? Yeah. I mean, you can sell those. They're empty. I've already sold all, I've already emptied all the crate of fireworks into the, um, uh, into our cannonball barrels. So you can just uh, sell okay, those okay. empty. So. Right. Oh, let me get my stream avatar so I can see who's watching. That's one thing I like about stream avatars. It's like an accurate, it's actually accurate of viewers of who's actually watching. Because some reason, oh, yeah. which is just kind of weird about that. Let me get myself onto your stream then. Get my cat up here. <laughs> Gotta get that cat up baby. I think this is the post that we were at before because <laughs> all of our crates are still here. Or at least someone put crates here. All right, so I can lower the left. Lower. There we go. Fabulous. Hey, there's barrels in the water over here, too. I'll go. I'll go get them. Well, I'm going to go empty mutts in my. Um, what's in my. Pockets, and then I will go get the storage crate because there's a lot of there's actually a lot of good stuff in the water and stuff. So, where's the storage crate? I have it. Oh, okay. Oh, you're getting up, Josh? Okay, my bad. Oh, I got 3,400 for one of those chests. Oh, yeah. Nice. And pretty decent amounts for these. 700 for a gem. So she, wait, she won't buy the firework crates? 1,000 for one of them. You can here. I'm going to empty the crate, and then you can go do your thing with it. I got a lot of things, but I don't know where the special items are at. Oh, I already brought all the special items. It's just those, the rest of them were like just normal stuff, like cannonballs and things like that. Yeah, I might have to take the crates back to the merchant, but the rest of the stuff she's taken. Yeah, look at all these numbers: one four, one four, two eight three nine zero oh, one. Yeah. Pretty excellent. I like the madam. I like the the juicy loot that we're getting from it. Do it. You guys see me? Fifteen hundred, twelve hundred. Carol, you gotta send me pics or we didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I haven't had this much gold before. Order of Souls, Bounty Skull Sold. We have a lot of fireworks. <laughs> There's empty cannonball and fruit crate. There's three empty crates here cannonball wood and fruit crate not even i guess yeah, I, saw saw this. Okay. Uh, I guess the firework crates are can't do anything with them they just yeah hey, can't do anything with them. i might as well just leave them yeah just leave them well i emptied them so yeah there ain't nothing in them so they're useless all right i guess we're just leaving them then sounds good to me Yeah, Sovereign Point is super handy. All over the island. And your Order of Souls and all that reputation. It still counts. Yeah, that's excellent. Alright, the direction of the next shrine I think is... Sort of southeast from here. Yep, just past the Haven. Get us saturated. The southeast of us.
It's still coming up with loads of notifications for me. It's like, coffer sold. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, Ruby, Siren, Gem sold. Yep, I know. <laughs> All of my notifications went by pretty quick. We gotta wait for Toucan to come back. Okay. Yeah, I'm just turning. Getting a... Getting a hook. Getting yourself a hook. Yep, finally getting myself the, the Nightshine Parrot hook. Got it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So all I need now is the jacket, the hat, and the uh, peg leg. Then I'll have the entire outfit. And then I gotta work on the weapons. Here it comes. Yeah! <laughs> Got it. I'm here. I know you guys miss me. Tookie tookie. Damn straight. I think it's just past this island here that's in front of us. Yeah, right enough. I'll just sail us around here, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. More speedboat swing. <laughs> That's another thing we got to look for too. Is a uh, a rowboat for this with a cannon on it again? Yes, so handy. Having a gun on the back is actually really. I've I've seen like professional streamers like one of those is like really handy because if you're getting like chased after, you can fire at people chasing at you. Yes. So it's very handy. Oh, also, uh, I found out from that YouTube stuff, uh, what's a big deal is um, custom thumbnails, which I thought was very interesting, because, like, it, uh, Instead of, like, having the generic thumbnail? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like a, a random shot with video. Yeah. Which sometimes, uh, I, which cracks me up that that's the thing. Sometimes the random shot of the video is better than whatever thumbnail you can make. There's a couple times like those, like, here's their three choices of video, uh, thumbnails you can have from the video. And, like, they're better than anything that I could have done. Like, mm -hmm. just like, you know, like the starting script, like, not just starting script, but like a specific scene with a specific character. Like, it's better than anything I would have done, you know. There we go, shiny boy right in front of us. Kind of neat that it automatically shines and tells you where to go. Then again, it's underwater, so I guess that's about the only. Way yeah, I mean, no, is, uh, there's loads of them all over the place, different shrines. This one's just wants wants us to go to three different ones, and oh. some of them are like like coral reef shipwrecks and stuff. They're really quite. The styles are pretty excellent. I'm gonna stay up here so I don't get lost again. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, might I as well come it. down and and have a look around with us. You can always teleport yourself back with a statue, don't worry. That's very true. Can do that. Alright, I'm gonna lower the anchor just as soon as we hit the the shimmer. I'm gonna jump in. Alright, I'm gonna raise the anchor just to keep us from or should I leave it lowered? Um well, I mean if you take the sails up first before you Yeah, the sails are up. Excellent. Who's coming down with me? I uh, come down with you. Looks like it's a shipwreck down here. Like it? Love it? Want some more of it? Right. Shrine of Ancient Tears. Okay. Ah, rainy dears. Hair is red. In insanity.
Don't worry, Carol. If you send me a picture, I won't show anyone unless you want. I definitely want to see that right here. It won't be as luxurious as mine, but it could be close. Try and find something that's got loads of bubbles coming out of it so that you can find a place to breathe. Oh, it's over here. Ah, yeah, excellent. All right, because we want to have a wee look in this ship before we go into the cave. Ah, uh, yep, there's nothing in the ship. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing on this side either. So you might as well, see, might as well just go in the cave. See, okay. scrolls. Okay. Nothing. Oh, spyglass. Yeah, uh, nothing we can do with them. Fuck me. All right, this is pretty cool. So you can like, see, it's like a barrier. Okay. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. But it's these things here. See these flashing guys? Yeah. If I Good. smack it, it'll make the barrier walkable. Yeah, so you can walk through it now. Oh, that's cool. Oh, now it's got. Now you got it. Uh, air. Oh, that's cool. Sorry. Ah. So you can actually just walk about this one, Josh. You don't have this one about it. I'm down here. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's just let's go further down then. Ah, look at this shop here with the lantern. <laughs> yeah, I've been right, here think... 30 years. <laughs> Help. Please, someone, please let me down. Okay, oh, this one has some buttons. Let's get the priest as well. Let's see what he's got to say. Right, so he says. Oh, hold on. Talk to me. I'm not saying anything. What is this place? Once this was a hallowed meeting ground between our kind and sea kin, the ones you know as Merfolk. At the heart of the shrine is a large pool around which we would stand. The earrings we wore allowed us to understand their song. That was long ago, when the shrine stood proudly above the waves. Now its hallways are infested with those loyal to the Sea Queen. The way ahead is perilous, but if Belle believes that the eyes of the ancients were brought here, it is a fight that must be fought. Right, so we're looking for the eye of the ancients down here. All right, so he says, light the torches. He says, the graceful butterfly and the patient turtle, the two pathways must be traveled to light the flames to find what you seek. On each path, bring light to dark places, seek the switches and false flagstones, then work them with haste. Press onwards. Right. Okay, well, I found a lever already, so I don't know what the flagstones are. Um, hold on, let me, let me, I found a book here where I'm at. I do not know when the first meeting with our seeking took place. Perhaps none remain among our number who do. Perhaps it no longer matters. How strange it must have been to look down from one's boat, expecting to see your own face in the water and staring into the eyes of another. Come on, continue. There we go. We constructed meeting places where the land met the sea and used them to commune as best we could. Over time, a bond between our people began to form. Legend tells it was a young prince barely two summers old who became the first to topple from his perch only to be carried away but to shore by our sea kin it seems that sightings of the myrrh as bell calls them became common in distant waters once we departed i wonder might they have been searching for us that was it so i'm at a lever though i don't know what means by flagstones but i'll i'll go ahead and use the lever so it did something I don't know what. Hmm. All right. I've got a pool here that we can swim in. There's like a symbol underneath it. It's a circle with some wavy lines in in the middle of it, kind of like the. Like and I have one with a circle with a triangle in it. Can you do anything with it though? All right, I have an idea about these switches on the ground. Somebody join me at the bottom of the stairs. I'm coming. Right, Josh. I'm gonna take the the right 
set of stairs. You take the left, run up and meet me at the top, but make sure you run over all the switches. All right? All right. Let so me know. Three, two, one, head. That did something. Yeah, that did something, all right. Ah, I opened up a, okay. a doorway at the top here. Yeah, because I, I pressed the lever as soon as you guys were started that. So just to make sure, like, initial, because it said with haste, because I didn't know if it may have, like, re ah. it. So I guess it must have worked. Here's the places that will light. Okay. So I can light this. So there's torches in here that need to lit. So like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just stay up here with the lever because I don't know entirely if the lever is what is like is connected with those flagstones. So I'm just going to, just in case. Yeah, right, so you guys have to figure it out. two fires. There's another fire there. I'll just watch you guys through my spike glass. All right, so I've let all the four fires in here. Has that done anything? Is there other Let's go have a look. Is there other torches to light? There's another one. There's some lanterns on the stairs as well. So I'm going to light all of them. Yep, they're all lit, and that's just done something else. Yep, it's opened up another way down at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. All right, some glowy mushrooms and stuff. Mm, mushrooms. Ah, there's a lever here. So there's a lever there. Let's check down these bits as well. Ah, oh, there's more touch buttons probably pressure buttons and more light more lanterns as well i like the lanterns just now i'm gonna go down and figure out i know how to get back up here so i'll just go down there and come back here definitely ain't easy to get there i know the way now this is the way the butterfly. Okay, look, that's the way the butterfly. So I'm guessing that we do the same as before. We need to press all of the press buttons. So if you look at this, there's a lever here, Josh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking that from the door, if we run, if I run across all of these, like a uh, pressure pressure plates and then press the lever okay just let me know when to press it <clears throat> hey sugar mama thanks for lurking There's... hope you're doing okay oh okay okay hold on hold on this opens to a treasure chest i'll take that set that down there the lever just moved on its own. Okay. There, hmm. That's interesting. They're opening little holes in the walls. Yeah, and they lead to treasure. At least I didn't yeah. Know. What does this lever do? Okay, this entire, this is an elevator. Okay, I think we just left Josh behind. <laughs> so we, we didn't know that was an elevator before we pressed it, don't worry. <laughs> I actually jumped off it because it looked like the floor might have spikes above it, and I was like, nope. <laughs> okay, so... All right. Okay. There's a... Oh, that's where you go. Is it like an exit? I think it's an exit. Yeah. 
Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. How long she took and where did you go? Found a treasure chest. On the back side of the ship here. Where are they? Alright, okay. Alright, so this is just another way in. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know how to get out of here. Get out of this hole, though. Alright, I'll be back again real quick. Hold on, guys. Oh, brave Captain Josh. He runs away again. Oh. <laughs> All right, I can't, I, I can't get back. Yeah, we have to go and back. Here, we, uh, I have to go the long way around. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to go and meet Josh <laughs> again. <laughs> while he's coming, while he's gone, we got to go catch up to him. Hey. Okay. All right, so we've figured out an elevator exit. And we've also managed to open a couple of doors. Let's see if we can figure out the rest of it. Go ahead and take this chest in here. Oh, come on. Yeah, just stuck that in there. Oh, I'll get it, don't worry. I just need to... Wait, did you just drop the chest? Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. it didn't float up to the top. That's what they normally do. Yeah, they did now. Thank the Lord. I was gonna put this with the other chest. I don't know if it's easy or not. I don't know, but I will. Hmm. Yeah, there's a blue statue over here. I can take it to. Oh, I just thought, I just saw that as soon as you said that. I just saw it. You guys still in the elevator part? No, no, we're back. We're back. It's just uh, it's an exit. Hmm. Strange, 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 strange. Okay. I'm going to jump down in the hole. So. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because we've got this door here that has the butterfly on it. And I wonder if it maybe opens from the other side. There's water at the hole, so you can just jump down. Oh, there's another book. I thought I knew all there was to know about the merfolk, but after visiting the shrine, I felt like I was missing something. A part of their story that might explain this strange place, so I asked around. That's when tales of ships being dragged below by creatures that look like merfolk started to surface. I couldn't believe my ears. The merfolk wouldn't act this way. What on the seas could be happening? I spoke to every pirate who knew anything, and they all told the same tale. A terrible scratching on their holes and the sound of a sad voice on the wind. Okay. Hope we open day door. Where does this go? Oh, found another lever. Found some more treasure too. I'm not having a, I'm not having any it's luck just opening this to the butterfly door. Alright, okay, any more blues here?
and down the hole that you could find. Mm. Now hold on, this way wasn't opened before. Yeah, we just opened that. I, all right, like okay, going well the, done. Going through the bottom like leads you around to there. Oh, this looks like a puzzle of some sort. It's a thing. With hands. I might talk to the priest again. He said something about the road of the butterfly. And it definitely seems to be that door that's in there because it has a picture of a butterfly. Right, the graceful butterfly and the patient turtle. These two pathways must be travelled to light the flames and find what you seek. On each path, bring light to dark places, seek the switches and false flagstones, then work them with haste. Press onwards until the turtle's treasure is within your grasp. Mm, false flagstones. So, could some of these. Seek like the switches and false flagstones. Flagstones, I'm guessing, are the 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 press the pressure plates. Okay. Hold on. So you. You can only hold press this lever once one of the flagstones is pressed. Interesting. So we need do we need to do all the the stones and I don't the know if maybe the we need to just do certain ones. Or do we need to do all of them? What do you think? Uh, we may try all of them. I think so. Yeah. All right, so if we start over at this side, where I am, and if we all just sort of run towards the butterfly, pressing all of them as we go. I'm finding where you guys are at. Because they all open little bits. Yep. I'd press... Can you pull that level without, like, right now before even... And there's a level lever over here as well with a butterfly next to it. Yeah. Uh do you, hmm. this one let you it. Oh, now you can. Hold on. Try this. Again, let me just go ahead and give it a shot. There's the lever. Press that. Press that. Press that. Press that. Press that. 
Am I missing a flagstone? I'm thinking it's, maybe it's just the levers. Do you think if we just press the levers at the same time? So wait till it resets. I'll go to the other one. And we'll just sort of three, two, one it. Yeah, we'll have to because um, there's that stone that's blocking the path. So we'll have to kind of team up on it. Yeah, so this one's ready to go. This one's not ready yet. All right. Well, none of the none of the stones are pressed. So, Cap, do yours, and then Josh, do yours as soon as if he does his. So is is your still not ready? So only one it's of them is ready. Is ready? Okay. Yep. Right. So ready to press it. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Did that do anything? It did not. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Okay. Is there like another lever I need to do? I don't want that. All okay. right. Here's the next plan. Wait until it resets, and then we'll do that running thing again. So, I'll run towards your lever, pressing all the stones I can in the way. You run towards my lever, pressing all the stones you can in the way. That way, they'll all be pressed, and they'll all be like both levers will be pressed, and all the stones will be pressed. You got it. Okay. So pull the lever and run towards you. No. Run towards me and then pull my lever at this side once you've okay. pressed all the stones. Okay. All right, so you ready? Yep. All right, go. Hmm. Okay. So that didn't work either. Something we're missing. Okay, so I add another lever. So I'm at a lever that consistently, like, has, as far as I know, hasn't done anything. So. All right, wait, are you second? I'm, I'm at the top, if you guys can look. I had to go up here. I'm at the, I'm at the lever. There's no, if you guys, if you guys want to just look at my stream, I can show you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm at the top. I had to like bounce and do like the whole thing. But over here, there's this lever. I don't see any identifiable factors like the other ones where it was like a butterfly or something. But so far, the other levers that I've pulled, if you pull it, it stays pulled besides this lever and the two levers that we're dealing with right now. So this might be, could this possibly attribute to what we're trying to do? Could but, do. but this symbol right here on the ground doesn't. I mean, it's water, so I don't understand. This was, it looks like a turtle at all. No, it just looks like water. It's like a circle with water on it. Yeah, you're going the path, Cap. You go from there, and then you'll jump to there, and then you'll loop around. And... Discovered this, this first thing we got when I first came in here, but I. It didn't look like. I mean, it looked like for earlier, but it didn't look like for, you know, right now. And I was found a gunpowder barrel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> amazing, right? I'll bring us, th I'll bring this whole place down around us. <laughs> did you? I don't suppose you tried pressing it. I did. It didn't do anything. goes back so i didn't know if maybe if i need to stay up here and you guys want to do that and like i'll press it at a certain time or something uh i'm not sure it's got different it's got what different symbols and stuff. door that i'm standing in front of it because it looks like it opens i just don't know how Whee! yeah like see in the wee alcove next to you there's a wee triangle thing Oh, that lever opened this up down here. Oh, you did it? Well, the symbol above this tomb is the symbol in front of that lever. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, so I, I think maybe this opens that. And all this really did was give us treasure, and it is kind of just like a secret place. So I think it was just, you know, hey, if you find this, you get more treasure kind of thing. I don't think it has anything to do with our puzzle.
Our priest is super unhelpful. What a dick. Cyber Sarge, how's it going, dude? How have you been? Yeah, so it's got to be something to do with this room here. The one with this butterfly door in it. Hmm. Yeah. Do you notice that there's four torches? And one only one torch is lit. And it's the butterfly torch? But the turtle torch, the eagle torch, and the crab torch are not lit. So did we complete the butterfly one? Is that why it's lit? Or is it like the only one left? Well, the butterfly one's the only door that we haven't opened. Well, that's what I mean. What I think is the only door that we haven't opened yet. Oh, I got a question. Quest received. I, I, I opened this barrel and there was a scroll in it. Weird. All right, okay. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I'll see you guys now. I came up back to the ship. So if you need me back down there, let me know. No problem. <clears throat> Cyber Sarge, thank you for lurking. I hope you were doing well. Ooh, I just don't. Mm. Hmm. I have 27% drop rate. Frame drop rate. I have a shitty frame rate, it seems. Yeah, mine keeps dropping too, so I apologize about my shitty stream. Yeah, mine's I'm in your stream too. Mine's pretty bad. It's As it, it's at 27.3. That's horrendous. I usually average like 9%. Man, this is bad. 27.3. What's a downloading? My wife must be downloading something. There's no way. I'm not on Wi-Fi on my phone. Probably playing Hearthstone. Even just playing that on her iPad drops frames and maybe I'll sound a little off. Hmm. Torch there. Torch there. Need to get some of this treasure on board. Oh shit, there's a third butterfly lever. Where's it at? It's in the hallway. We've... Are you serious? For some reason, we managed to miss it. Yeah, cut. Like, come back to the butterfly hallway. Okay, I just went. I gotta go down the elevator, so give me a second. Because I, <laughs> I went up the elevator just to kind of see more. So the elevator's coming back down. So, give me a sec. I'm thinking it's the, the first plan. Just pull all the levers that is, uh, or as quickly as possible. Where's the other one? Except, except there's three of them. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, it's right there. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, uh, right there. So you go to that one over there. That direction. And I'll get these two. So You want me to just like, what, you want to wait until the the buttons push back up? or? Yeah, as, as your one up the way. Uh, is it pushable? Yes. Yeah, it is pushable. Yeah. All right. Um, push it now. All right. And three, two, one, go. Um, the gate, the door just opened. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the door just opened. Um, it's just because it's, it's, we're all three of us blind for some reason. <laughs> apparently, yeah, dude, we, we pushed everything. That was just the last one. What the fuck? Yeah, you could blame me. Right, okay. So, Put that one we're in this room. There's more flagstones here. There's more right, razors there's, to light. There's a lever to your left. Here. All right, I'm going to light all the torches again, all the braziers. Ah, it's a turtle this time, so the door of the turtle. Okay. Let's have a look around here. There's a, there's a turtle lover here. Black's another here. book here as well. Oh. Got another brazier. Got it. Oh, turtle lover down here. Okay, okay there's a the turtle lever. So we've got two turtle levels so far. Two turtle doors. One. Is it? It is two, two turtle doors, isn't it? Yeah, there's two turtle doors. Strange. Oh, hold on. You want to read that or you want me to read it? Just found a ruby siren gem. That's nice. Three. I'll go ahead and read the the book thing. Years passed and the warrior who had forsaken his duty for a life below the waves slipped from our minds. Perhaps we noticed fewer sea kin on the waves, perhaps not. We had no way of knowing that far below a sickness was spreading. It robbed many, the sea queen among them, of their voice and their song. With no harmonious words to give them purpose, the afflicted became isolated, resentful and cruel. They saw us as if for the first time we were strangers once more. Who struck first? I cannot say. I know only that from the time of my childhood to travel into deep water, while often un while often necessary, invited great peril from below. Their new song was one of hatred. They clawed our boats apart and dragged us down in the bayful of in their in a bayful embrace. Without a word spoken, our two worlds were now at war. That's it. Okay. All right, a war with a merfolk. Okay, so we need to man. A turtle lever each. Okay. Uh, there's one there and then right. one in here. So. One there. so you go down to that one at the end of the hall there. Let me know when you're at it. Okay. We're just doing the levers and we want to press all the, the buttons. No, we'll just do the levers again. Okay. Sounds good. Three. You there? Yep. Three, two, one. All one. right. Did both of the yours open? Uh, yes, it did. Okay, so mine did too. I'll go in this one, you go in that one, I guess. Okay. Oh, I've got the relic in this one. Oh, good. Are you in a fight? Uh, yeah, I used a couple skeletons. I got them, though. Alright, hold on. They're all dead. It's fine. Fucking skeleton eating a banana to heal up. <laughs> Fucking banana's not gonna go anywhere. So just the levers. You don't even need to press the switches. But they're for so I think I think they Yeah, the switches just open little um Right, so I think I better take that before we go down this corridor, this weird blue one, I'm gonna take that relic back to the priest just so we've completed this. Yeah. And then we can go down that corridor and we can see if there's any treasure. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and light the torches. I still don't like that music. Yeah, I'm not either. Right, bear with me, Tukin. I'm gonna go find the priest. Back in a minute. No problem. Oop, got a chest. Perfect. Oh, this place is swarming with enemies. Ba oh, back, back the way we came. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, I've handed in the eyes, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bolt back to where you are. All right, sounds good. Light all the torches. Ah, there's priest people helping me as well. That's fine. I'll leave them to do the fighting. <laughs> right. All right. We've got two crossed off. That's excellent. Is there anything down here then? 
Uh, yes. If you go all the way down to the end, there's another lever. And I have one of them. I found one of them. So uh, as far as we know, there's three levers, though. So uh, I've only found two. So I'm going to look Okay, so there's again. one. There's all one right, at so the very beginning. A, some sort of, like, elephant head there. Oh, if there's only two, we'll try... Try the two first. So... Okay, I'm at the end if you want to go to the beginning one then. Yeah, let's have a look, see if I can find it. It's right before the door. You want right to see before a, the door. You want to see a goat, Zach? Oh my god. Let me text my wife. <laughs> have her bring the baby goat inside. Ah, here it is. Right, you ready to press it? Yep, give me one second. I need to text my wife. Right, press, okay, I'll, I'll wait. Because I found the, th the third one as well, so I'll be able to press the two of these. Hey guys, just to give you a heads up, something was screwy with my system because it just said controller disconnected, and I just put new batteries in this today. <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'm ready to go whenever you are, Cap. Um, Alright, ready to go. Alright, three. Get me down. Three, two, one. Got it. And it opened. Success. Kind of used to fortresses where like every single fucking one drops ammo. These guys do not. Oh, okay, I found, I've already got a lever over here near the front, so I know where one's at. All right, got a statue over here. Oh, I've got a lever, it's behind the, it's behind one of those wee switchy walls. Oh, really? So you have to use the switch? To get in. Yeah, but it's okay. It's quite close to. I think this is the door. Yeah, this is the door here. Uh, well, my wife. I haven't found it. a third one yet, though. My, my wife brought the goat in. You want the goat? <laughs> come here. Come here, you, come here, you loud piece of shit. Come here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, that's screaming. <laughs> you guys wanted Hold him. On. Here he is. Oh, you better quit. Trying to go get my team there, but she's asleep. Before he ruins the stream further. <laughs> hey, Excellent. Go, go, go to stream. He ain't happy, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Ah, right, I found it. Right, so. Uh, so there's this one near the front, the first door. Uh, he's the way. <laughs> no, yeah, he's pretty pissed. He is <laughs> pissed. <clears throat> Very pissed. All right. I figured it out. Oh, you did? Okay. Do you see this one here? Yeah. This, 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 this little block. All you need to do is stand on this one here. And it opens that. Okay. So if you get ready and do that, I'll get the other two. All right. I'll go ahead. I went ahead and did it. Are you ready? Yep. I already pressed it. Press it. <laughs> I didn't count down. Well, you pressed the. Hold on. <clears throat> you pressed the pad, so I was like, "Do it now." <clears throat> You're welcome, Zach. Go back to Tarkov. Right. Well, we might have to wait until it resets. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'll press the lever. Right. Let me know when it resets. All right. 
Our main hasn't reset yet. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I hear it resetting, so hit mine reset. Come on, reset, you prick. There we go, it's reset. Right, so, you ready? Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll count down. All right. Three, two, one. All right, and yep, yep, go, 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 go. And I, I move my lever. And it's open. Right, so I put some more treasure into the statue. I'm looking around, making sure I didn't miss any treasure. I'm going to go ahead and continue forward. Okay, what we got here? Oh, oh we got another bar. Wait a minute, that's a butterfly one. It looped around. Oh, oh, well, it oh yeah, because we've, um, we've unlocked the four... Thing, didn't we? Wait, we didn't. Yeah. Do, it says we didn't do the turtle one. The fuck? We did do it. Okay. One of the, one of them was the turtle one. Yeah, one of them was. It says we haven't done. I'm gonna go back through it and make sure see if we've forgotten. Wait a minute. What says that we haven't done the turtle one? Uh, it's the only torch that's not lit. There was a ride on in chat. I see. Ah, I see. So has. That's weird. What's that in chat? Right on. I'm going to press right it. on. Wait, 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 wait. Did we? Did we? Is there a torch missing? Did, I don't think so. It is. Ah, uh, that must be it, right? Did we, are we missing a torch? Have a look, see if we missed a brazier. It doesn't look like it though. Really doesn't. Strange. So this is crab space. This is oh, found space. it. Found it. Brilliant. Yep, that's it. Okay, it was hidden behind a block. And the big one's open. All right, what we got here? Some treasure. Oh, some more treasure. Oh yeah, chest of ancient tributes. Peculiar coral. Good shit now. Damn. Let me know when you guys load up the mermaid and I'll bring it back. So, we still haven't got the whole secret of this place, though. What do you mean? Uh, there's another door we didn't open. I don't know how to fucking open it. Let all the braziers in here. Are you sure it's a door? Well, it's right there, right across the way from the. Oh, yeah, it looks like a door, yeah. It's All right, something. I've done everything else for you. It's probably something to do with this square hole. Could it have yeah. something to do with this. I can see, like, there's that a square, square triangle. <laughs> yeah, I see a square hole. It's clearly a square. I don't know common. I don't know common public uh, education. So <laughs> education. So. It looks like America, a square to me. America school system failed me. America failed, school system failed. That looks like a square to me. You know how they said no child left behind? Well, I got <laughs> left way behind. They said, fuck me. They fucked this kid. <laughs> this kid sucks. So that's something to do with this place because there's a <clears throat> triangle above this door. So what the fuck is behind this? All right, I'll see. Oh, oh, I think I know. Rest. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. He's figured it out. The gunpowder Ooh. barrel. There's only what one in this boy? entire place. And there's like a brick wall. I bet that gunpowder barrel will blow this up. I'll put it in front of it. It's only I'm not certain that taking this bright idea of blowing it up is a great idea. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it will work. We have the technology. Why else would there be a gunpowder barrel down here? <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> I just can't really think of anything else. There's just, it's literally as a wall hmm. 
You might as well get out of that hole, Cap, because I'm about to blow it up. I just don't see that being the right thing to do. Oh, Jesus. You just absolutely blew me into that hole. <laughs> I said, uh, well, um, it didn't work. Um, it was a good idea. <laughs> Shut up. I don't want to hear anything. I thought it was a great idea. I mean, there's a book right next to it, though. I was, I was in the middle of reading that when you blew me into the hole. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> right, hold on. I'm coming back. Right. Beautiful waterfalls, areas hidden. Most important of all, where's the key for this triangular lock and what is inside? Where is the key for this triangular lock and what is inside? Good excellent question, mate. Hmm. Hmm. Googling it. <laughs> Dukan, do you have your ad set to three minutes? I have my what? Ads set to three minutes? Yes. Okay. I'm very confused. Yeah, I'm looking around here and I just don't see anything. It's like we must have missed something or something. I think it might have something to do with those enemies that were up here when I gave that priest the, the thing. Might have been. Because I just ran away from them, I didn't do it. I mean, the book said that there's a key. I'm uh, assuming that's kind of like the keys you get in the forts.
Uh, everywhere just it mentions like how to complete all the other stuff except the triangle one. Like everything is like how to do all the other puzzles puzzles we already figured out. Hmm. Yeah, every article is like how to complete all the other stuff except Yeah, I think we just triangle. don't have it yet. Yeah, I think we just can't. I just don't Yeah, cuz all of it's like how to do the turtle hallway parrot hall, you know, all those stuff we just did, how to complete the um yeah, everything just mentions word for word what we've already done. Except nothing mentions the triangle. So I just don't think we can. I think we're good. I think we just got to go back. Yeah. Ship and call it good. I think this is part, it's part of a different quest. I think we're... Oh, Jesus. I just fell again. <laughs> I guess that one chest that we got, the Shrine of Ancient Tributes, is really um, worth a lot. So, I mean, the chest of Ancient Tributes. Supposedly, that's what the, a lot of articles say. They're worth quite a bit. I don't know how yeah, much. Yeah, so Josh, if you want to get us sorted to... I'll return to the ship. Okay. And we'll try and get us sorted to go somewhere to sell all that good. Okay. All that all that treasure. Sounds good. <laughs> you guys up for hitting the Skelly Port before we go? Where is it at? I like it. Oh, there is one right near us. Old Brandsford Fortress. Is... We get to turn all the way around. You go north. Yeah, we could. You could do old Brinestone Fortress. We're like right there. If you guys want to, it's up to you. Right, I'm here. Okay, we can just turn completely around, go southwest-ish, mostly west, but a little bit south, and we'll be right at the fortress. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have time to finish off this quest here. Because we've got another one of these shrines to do the, the puzzle for. Will we have to start over again? or Dreams from the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Will we have to? Because it keeps on... Like, it's, it updates it for us. Are we actually going to have to start again if we do this? We had to today. Damn. Ah, shit. So if you guys want to write down and remember what you have to do in this one then the yeah. next stream we do when i come back we could just run through the gamut of you know going through and trying to get the last one because there's yeah, only three parts to this right yeah there's there's three parts we've done two and we absolutely nailed that one <laughs> i think <laughs> yeah because i'm gonna have to go it's getting midnight here yeah <laughs> okay well we probably just head to an outpost we can't even do a fourth then probably should just head on out josh Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's uh, quickly sell this stuff and then we can boost. Yep. There's one northwest to us. Northwest. Or northeast to us, but the northwest one's closer. That's fine. Let me know when the drop sale. Yeah, cap are no. good. Took it okay. I want to turn it back, Josh. Kind of going against the That's what I'm saying right now. Yeah. There we go. On the way. Yeah, quite like those little shrines. They're pretty interesting. Yeah, I really like them. Now we know the puzzles, though. We can just complete it next time. Zoom right through it. 
I wonder I wonder if it's one of those things though because it's like a puzzle based like do you have to like do the same puzzle every single time so you can just complete it over and over and over and over again yeah it's the same one because that's what I did um, on the first one I just ran through did all the puzzle bits and got it finished ah it was yeah. the same as last time All right, yeah, island just off the port side there. I'll try and get. Uh, looks like that's the Sovereign's Tower we're coming up on. Let's see if we can park it right at the Sovereign's Tower. That is the Sovereign's Tower. I wish there was a way to dock it, kind of like you do a rowboat where you can just press a button and it'll dock it. They really yeah. need to do that. Yeah, docking ships it appears. So that would, that would be excellent if you could do that. The reason why like ships have like a boardwalk, you know, like you lower the boardwalk onto a, a pier or something, they need to have that. They really do. Is that in, in the hold, Josh? Should we get everything onto the deck? I will help Josh do that. So I'm going to fill up these chests that can be filled. You know. I think that Kraken absolutely threw us off our game. <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't have to work so late for you guys. Otherwise, I would start early. We would be able to get this stuff done. That's all right. Hey, don't worry about it. Life happens. I hope you guys have a good week of streaming and working and whatnot. Oh, yeah. be a lot of it too. We're getting close. Yeah, I'm getting there. All right. I think you should probably put the anchor down now. All right, got it. Perfect. Excellent. Almost got everything on deck, so it'll almost be just a thing of two of us going up there and just uh, and doing all that work. So once I got everything loaded, I'll be at the bottom near the sovereign. I can just like immediately take it to her and you know sell, sell, sell. So. What kind of shot was that, Joy? You don't have to turn it. I can grab it. Just uh, keep it on target. Bukus. I'm buying all the ships. <laughs> Is that all too, Ken? Uh, yeah, that was all that was on the ship. I mean, in the cabin, so.
Can you sell it? Like everything to her? Ah, uh, yeah, gotta empty it. Chest of ancient tributes. Oh shit, yeah. Guess we're making some good money. So many money transactions. <laughs> well, I'm back to where I started from when we first started streaming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That should be I've got enough for a slip. Hoping to eventually have enough to keep getting the rest of the. Um, Nightshine Parrot stuff. Pretty close. Got all the equipment. I've got a couple things left of clothes, and then I gotta start working on the weapons. Weapons are ridiculous. I gotta redress my pirate at some point. How many ancient coins do you have? 570. That might be enough to get you an outfit. Or is it? No, it's, um, I think for a costume, it's 999. Yeah. Yeah, like 10 bucks. Like one ancient coin is one cent. That's what I've noticed over here. So for us. All right. Well, if you're all right with that, I am going to boost. I'll all right, Cap. There, guys. It's been fun. Thank you. Well, yeah, no problem. problem. And I'll catch you again the, the next time when you're <laughs> back from LA. I will let you know how it goes. Brilliant. Big news <laughs> on Bye-bye. See you. Right. See you, man. I'm going to head on out too, Josh. Thank you so much for playing. All right. I'm going to set off fireworks, fix my ship, and then head out. All right, man. Talk to you later. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I'm going to go mow my lawn uh, probably, and uh, then I'm going to head on out. So. Come back when you're buying the grub. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching.